Kylian Mbappe uh, has got a year left on his contract, but there was this option to extend it by 12 months. And PSG thought that he was definitely going to extend, which meant that he had effectively two years left on his contract. But last month, he wrote a letter to PSG saying, you know what, I will not extend my contract and that effectively means that he can walk away from PSG. He's the best player in the world. He can walk away next summer for absolutely nothing. Now, what PSG did is write him a letter. The letter was dated uh, this Monday, the 3rd of July. It was sent to his home address in Paris. And I've got to say, the letter was quite respectful. You know, in the letter, they call him dear Mr Mbappe, dear Killian. The tone is quite conciliatory, but they do make their points very, very forcefully. Uh, they say the way you've acted uh, by writing this letter to us, telling us you're not going to extend your contract, the letter being leaked to the media, this has really harmed PSG. And they urge him to make up his mind very, very quickly what he wants to do. And they tell him, you've got until the 31st of July, so three weeks effectively, Either extend your contract or you will be sold this summer. We're not going to let you go for nothing uh, next summer. Uh, so the letter, I think, is not as harsh as I thought it was going to be. Mm. I thought it would be a little bit more angry uh, than it was. I don't think it's quite an olive branch, but they are giving Kylian Mbappe a chance to think again, maybe reconsider mm. what he is doing. And they make the point to him that, look, we've invested so much money, not just in you, but the club and the other players. We've done so much for you and your family. Uh, surely that has to count for something. You cannot just walk away uh, from us and leave us with nothing next summer. Yeah, I mean, I mentioned before the relationship is, is under strain. That, that much absolutely is true, despite, obviously, you say, the, the tone of this letter. And not just between club and player, but club and potential future club for Kylian Mbappe between PSG and Real Madrid. Surely they, they don't want him to go to the Bernabeu, do they? You know what? I don't think PSG care where he goes. I think but they'd rather that he leaves this summer with a fee rather than next summer for free. Yeah, I mean, Real Madrid have tried to sign Kylian Mbappe three times in the past. Once when he was at Monaco, when they thought they'd got him, uh, and twice since he's been at PSG. So this is the fourth time they've made a big play uh, to get him. In the past, obviously, relations between PSG and Real Madrid are not great. In the past, everybody has always uh, assumed that PSG would rather sell him somewhere else. But my sense at the moment is that if he doesn't extend, they don't care where he goes. Yeah. There's no emotion in it anymore. It is purely transactional. So if he says to them, I'm sticking to my guns, I'm not extending my contract, PSG will just sell him to whoever is willing to sign him next month. Mm. How much would it cost? I think you're talking about £150 million. Pounds. You know, he's the best player in the world. Uh, he's got 12 months left on his contract. If his contract was longer, I think it would be a world record fee. You would be talking about somewhere over £200, £250 yeah. million. Pounds. But because it's 12 months, I think it will be around £150 million. Pounds. But of course... You've always got to remember player power because mm. PSG can be as angry as they want. They can say we're putting you on the market. They can say we're selling you. We don't care where you go. Get out of here. But he can stay until his contract. Well, it's his runs name on a contract, right? Exactly. If, if he's going to move, he has to sign a contract with another club. And if he just chooses not to, then he can just run down his contracts and leave for free. That's the ultimate trump card to play. Right? And I think that's the reason that PSG are so angry because they believe that he is already agreed to move to Real Madrid next summer for nothing. And they believe that the situation has changed because Karim Benzema moved to Saudi Arabia last month. Uh, that was a little bit unexpected as far as Real Madrid were concerned. They thought he was going to stay uh, for another 12 months. And because Benzema has left, they have restarted Project Mbappe uh, and PSG believe that it is a done deal for him to move there for nothing next summer. I mean, it, PSG are going to do everything they can to stop that happening. Uh, obviously, Madrid have signed Bellingham 
uh, for 115 million pounds, you know, top top fee this summer from Borussia Dortmund. Is there any uh, suggestion at all, Carver, that he could go there this summer for that 150 million pounds? Is that possible uh, with Madrid ba balancing the books, or is it just simply Madrid? No, we're going to wait because we know we're going to get him, and it'll be for free next summer. I think. Uh, Florentino Perez has spoken in public. He, he's been asked uh, about uh, Real Madrid, uh, what they're going to do for the rest of the window, and he's kind of said, that's it, we're done. We're not planning on doing anything else. But do you actually believe what he's saying? Uh, you know, they've wanted Kylian Mbappe for a long, long time. I think if they can get him this summer, even if they have to pay £150 million instead of waiting uh, until next summer to get him for nothing, mm. I think they would grab the opportunity to get him this summer. Uh, and I think in the past, PSG, that would have left a bad taste in their mouth. But this summer, the way things have turned out yet again, <laughs> they don't care anymore. Uh, they just think it's business now. No emotions, purely transactional. If you don't want to be at PSG, get out of our club now.